everyone. It's Miss Lauren. Welcome to our recycled water bottle slash marker art program. And just like the name says, the only supplies we'll need are recycled spray bottles and some markers that are almost dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick out some colors. So my blue bottle will have some blue markers. My green will have kind of greenish markers. And then clear can have red and pink. And it's really cool red. So what's really fun is that even if, you know, um, your markers are super dry, you're still going to be able to get something out of them. So we're going to take off the caps. We are going to pick up all the markers off of the floor. So once we take off the caps, we are going to drop them in face down. So on here, we've got our, I think I lost one more. I did, it's okay. So we've got our blue. My goodness, friends, I'm going all over the place. And in here, we're going to put, I'm going to see if we can fit four markers in this one for green and a yellow. And then we are going to use red and pink for our clear one. And we're going to pause it real quick. What we're going to do now is we are going to take our bottles and we are going to fill them. You know, I bet warm water would be better for this. So we are going to fill them with warm water until they reach the top. So it's a little bubble. Perfect. See how that is? And we are going to make sure that we can still grow these because that's the goal. Okay? We've got one. We've got two. Almost. This one I'm a little worried about getting everything in. Perfect. And then we've got three. I stuck an extra marker in this one since it is bigger than the others. And you can already see that it's changing colors. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Now it's a lot more quiet, isn't it? Okay. So we have our three... Our three waters with markers, or three spray bottles. So we're going to let these settle for a second, and then we are going to spray them on a canvas and see if anything turns out. All right, friends. So I have a canvas here covered with, or I have paper towels underneath it just in case. So if you look at that, you can see that the red is kind of ready to go. So I think this is what we'll start at. We're going to make sure that it's open. Hmm, nothing yet. Let's see if the other ones have anything yet. Okay, so the green, check it out. Look how well the green is spraying. That looks really cool. So I like the green. Let's see if our blue and purple has anything. So it looks like our green has turned out the best. So we're gonna let these sit for a little longer. I've got some good news. Our red can sort of be seen. Do you guys see it over here? We've got our red and we've got green. It looks almost like a watermelon, perfect for the end of the season. And then we are gonna do one more try on our blue. Let's see. It looks like it's showing up a little bit, but mostly, mostly the pink and the green. So what do you guys think? I thought that was a pretty interesting way to make art. Once this dries, I might have to put it on my wall at home because it's actually super interesting how all the colors are reacting and how it's sort of like just a watercolor painting. Well, all right. Thank you for joining me, guys. We will see you next time on our next art program. Have a great day.